I'm joined by Brendan Maughan, Senior Analyst at Jefferies International. Hi, Brendan. Hi, Mark. Thanks for joining us today. You've got a buy recommendation. You've got an 1,800 pence price target. Might you push that up after today's results, or is, Look, that, is, is that stable, that price target? It's a solid set of results. Um, I guess looking forward to 2012, they're going to have the biggest uh, capital investment program this year with 45% of that in expiration, and this is an expiration-driven stock. Mm. I guess near term, we're going to be seeing up to five expiration results in the next couple of months yeah. that could drive the value, but I'm happy with that target price. Talk at the to moment, me about so. those five expiration results, which we're going to hear about, and what good news might emanate from yeah. those. Well, we're looking for results out of West Africa, mm. particularly Côte d'Ivoire, and they're also drilling in uh, um, Sierra Leone at the moment. Um, so this is a name that, you know, throughout this year they've got up to 38 expiration wells, so it's continued success, and they've had a, an average success rate of about 74% uh, to date, and that's beating its peers. Is, it, know, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that higher yeah. than the industry average? Um, it, it's been successful, of course, in Ghana. You've got the Jubilee uh, uh, project as well. That, there was a delay in production, though, in January. No big deal. No, look, it was a mechanical issue, so no loss of reservoir. Um, I mean, they're partnered with Anadarko, who we also like very much, and Cosmos Energy, which will also have a buy rating on. And I guess they're back to repairing the production, and we're going to see it into sort of the plateau production by early 2013. Yeah. And that's just through continued drilling. I mean, Jubilee's a world-class field, yeah. and Tullo got a good position in the, the asset. How excited are you about the potential in Uganda, in French Guiana, to name but two? Yeah, I mean, Uganda is world-class. I mean, yeah. they brought in two world-class um, partners, Total and also Sinook. So we're going to see that go to uh, production by 2015, 2016. And by third quarter this year, we're going to see re-entry into French Guiana yeah. uh, with Zadius. And probably the most important or the most exciting thing for Tullow on the horizon is actually the re-entry into Mauritania. Mauritania yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to see some play opening exploration back into this year, early next year in Mauritania. That's something I'm quite excited about. It's exciting stuff, isn't it? You just look at the shares, Brendan. They're up by you know, over 300% in, in five years. I mean, would you say these shares, if you're an investor, you're watching today, are they speculative? I mean you've given us some pretty good finds there and the potential for further ones. Yeah, I think well, with Tull as a core holding, I mean, I've covered it from four pounds right through to where it's trading today. Yeah. Uh, I think it's got a long way to go. I mean, it's still opening up new regions like Mauritania, like mm. French Guiana. Uh, and what you're seeing, they're divesting non-core assets yeah. like Asia and focusing on West Africa, East Africa and the Guyanas. You've got a number of companies that you look at. Um, I've, I've had a look at them today. You've got a number of buy recommendations. You've got BG, Statoil, Repsol, Cosmos Energy, Galp Energy. And there's a lot of buys there. Does that mean there's a lot of upside there? Preference in the names would certainly be Tullo Oil and the global EMPs. Yeah. Uh, we very much like BG for its LNG and growth out of Brazil. Mm. And also Statoil. Statoil is a name that um, through the expiration both on the Norwegian continental shelf growth that's coming out of West Africa. Uh, I'd just caution on names such as Repsol right. at the moment. There are issues with their, uh, their YPF stake in Argentina. And with Galp, I think Galp next year it starts to head into a growth phase. It's a name to watch, but certainly not of the class of, say, BG or Statoil. Brendan, thanks for joining us today. Brendan Wall, their senior analyst at Jefferies International.